Hello everyone, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony here with a very crazy looking uh, set of characters here. These are the Lego Hero Factory minifigures with the large action figure head. And boy is this, uh, this is certainly a bit crazy here. I got the idea from a uh, video that uh, Jane Bricks did with uh, having the Star Wars minifigures with the large action figure head. And I left a comment suggesting to him that he should do the same thing with the Hero Factory Heroes. But then somebody said, those are no longer relevant. And, well, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try it anyway. But, anyway, I did it myself, and this is what we have here. And this is certainly uh, a bit uh, crazy here. Now, of course, I know some of you probably will be asking, uh, where did the Next and Stringer minifigs come from? Well, the answer to that is they are customized minifigs. Since Next and Stringer didn't appear in Invasion from Below, I just made my own custom minifigures by using spray paint. So, that was pretty good, so I included them into the mix. I probably could have also included some of the other custom minifigures from this series that I have done. But, without further ado, I'm going to take a look at, well, each one of them. Uh, for Stringer right here, uh, the head is actually kind of loose because the, well, as you can see, or, well, anyway, the socket is kind of cracked in there. It's not held on all that well. I, I actually used a spare head from my parts drawer because I didn't want to take off the actual head from Stringer's body and risk breaking the uh, ball socket right there. It is unfortunate how even the uh, character and creature building system parts aren't uh, unbreakable either. I mean, they're stronger, but not strong enough to not break. Maybe someday LEGO will uh, make it so that they don't break at all like that. It is certainly kind of um, frustrating how even how you just do as much as you can to make sure that the parts don't uh, uh, crack. They still do, after some time. Now with Evo here, I actually didn't use a hero head this time. I used one of those uh, ball cut pieces with the actual hole from the top instead of going through the head right there that were introduced with the Bionicle 2004 uh, sets. I didn't have the blue Victorian head, at least not one without a broken socket in my parts drawer. Uh, so I just have to go with that instead. You can also see the actual mini big head that is inside of there. So this pretty much is not the best, considering that Evo's mask is very, very short. Getting on Bulk right here. I actually like the look of Bulk. And the head pretty much stays on a little bit better. There's only a tiny crack in the ball socket right there. And this works out pretty nicely, too. Now, some people are, are going to say, well, Bulk had a green head, not an orange one, in the Invasion from Below series. And Evo had a red head instead of a blue one. Well, I wanted to change things up because I really didn't like how it was officially done. So I just... Uh, changed it to my liking. I know not everyone will agree with me, but it's just my opinion, so let's just agree to disagree, shall we? Inferno here, he looks a bit better, though you still can see the mini big head that's used there. I actually used a Brain Attack series head for this one, which are a bit stronger, though the one on my neck is actually a bit cracked. It still works, and so I'll just keep using it for as long as the crack, uh, holds. So, that's Furno, right there. Looks a bit better. Next, here is Stormer, which <laughs> does a better job, uh, with Furno, and once again, it uses one of those, uh, ball cut pieces with the actual hole from the top, instead of the Glatorian heads or the Brain Attack series heads. Uh, 
I know it probably would be better if we could actually see some light coming in through uh, Stormer's head, but we can't, and I know, I probably could have used one of the transparent uh, blue heads for that instead, but I so just kill it. Raka, he also uses the brain attack style of head, and he, his head is kind of a little high. Uh, as you can see the the mini big head that's used, so he's pretty much not the best looking. And I know I used the brain attack, not brain attack, the uh, breakout style of mask instead of the brain attack one, the one that has the eyepiece right there. Uh, since the minifigure one didn't have the eyepiece, but I used the original breakout version of Rocket because I like that better. Then with Surge, he does a better job, also using a brain attack style of head. I could have maybe lowered the head down, and that pretty much works out well. Surge is one of the characters with a much lower jaw uh, than the other characters. So, that's Surge right there. Now, we move on to Breeze, and Breeze, I also, well, there are some cracks in the head that I used for this one, but it still fits on pretty well, though of course, I would probably say that putting the head onto the mini big heads in the first place kind of starts to weaken the, uh, the, the ball cut section, which is one reason why I didn't use the actual head from each of these characters. And last but not least, we have Nex right here, and he uses a brain attack style of headpiece uh, there as well. And he also does a better job with his jaw uh, covering up the mini big head uh, from the front, so you don't see that right there. And that's that's pretty much it. That those are the Hero Factory mini fig heroes from 2014 with the large. Hero Factory headpieces from 2010 to 2013. I hope you enjoyed this, and go ahead and try your own thing. Try something like this, because it's actually hilarious. Sure, they don't all look all that perfect, but some of them do look perfect. Bulk, and Stormer, and Surge, and Next certainly work out pretty fine, but characters like Evo and Raka uh, don't work all that well. Uh, at least the way that I've made them. I'm sure that some people probably could do a better job than what I've done, but this is what I got here. So that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.